There has been a lot of fake news regarding the crisis in Ukraine. The Ukrainian Defense Ministry published footage claiming to be of a Ukrainian fighter jet shooting down a Russian plane. But some Twitter users realized that this footage was actually created in a video game called Digital Combat Simulator World, developed by Eagle Dynamics and originally posted as a YouTube video, as confirmed by Reuters. And this is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to social media disinformation about Ukraine. So let's look at a few examples. U.S. Congressman Adam Kinzinger tweeted about the so-called Ghost of Kiev, the Ukrainian ace fighter pilot who allegedly downed six Russian jets, or as Kinzinger put it, owned the Russian Air Force. Kinzinger wished the pilot who identified as Samuel Hyde Godspeed and more kills, without checking the picture that showed American comedian Sam Hyde pretending to be a pilot. Uh, needless to say, he's not. And then there's BBC Breakfast using this footage of what they said was Russia's invasion of Ukraine. But in fact, this is just old footage of a Russian military parade rehearsal near Moscow from May of 2020. You also probably saw images of Ukrainian President Zelensky in full military uniform, bravely fighting off the Russian advance in the country's capital, Kiev, in person. But in fact, the photos were from April 2021, when Zelensky was inspecting Ukrainian troops in the country's eastern border. Nowhere near Kiev, of course. But in this horrific video, we see what many media outlets described as a Russian tank purposefully swerving off course into oncoming traffic to squash a Ukrainian civilian in Kiev. Miraculously, the driver survived. But many people on social media spotted that it wasn't a Russian tank, but rather a Ukrainian armored vehicle, noting it was probably an accident. And of course, you must have seen this viral video of a Ukrainian father sending his daughter <laughs> off to safety as he stays to fight Russia after Russian forces entered Ukraine. The media pounced on these heartbreaking images without saying that the footage was actually filmed before Russia started its military operation, after the breakaway leaders in Donbass advised evacuation. The girl is being sent to Russia to seek refuge rather than fleeing their forces. There are so many more examples, but the most telling are the tons of fake images circulating online of Russia bombing Ukraine that are actually images of NATO's bombing of Yugoslavia, Iraq, and others. It would be impossible to show them all, but it is ironic, isn't it? <laughs> 